balancing redox reaction by oxidation number so oxidation number if it is increasing it is responsible for oxidation if oxidation number decreases it is considered as reduction increase in oxidation number is oxidation decrease in oxidation number is reduction now we have an equation redox reaction and we need to balance it according to oxidation number in the first step we write the oxidation number of each reactant and product above their symbol here if e2 plus oxidation number is plus 2 here manganese oxidation number is plus 7 manganese oxidation number we need to find out manganese oxidation number here oxygen oxygen are 4 and the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 when we do the sum we should get minus 1 so when we calculate we'll get manganese oxidation number as 7 fe3 plus oxidation number is plus 3 and mn2 plus oxidation number is plus 2 after specifying oxidation number now we divide this redox reaction as oxidation and reduction according to oxidation number see students here iron oxidation number is increasing from plus 2 to plus 3 iron oxidation number is increasing from plus 2 to plus 3 oxidation number increases that's why this is oxidation reaction and here manganese oxidation number is decreasing from plus 7 to plus 2 that's why it is considered as reduction so we have divided the redox reaction into oxidation half and reduction half now in the next step we write separately oxidation reaction and reduction reaction separately oxidation reaction we have written and based on the oxidation number between reactant and product there is a one unit difference plus 2 and plus 3 one unit difference similarly reduction reaction separately we have written based on oxidation number of reactant and product in reduction reaction the difference between plus 7 and plus 2 is plus 5 now in the next step we multiply oxidation reaction with reduction unit that is 5 and we have written and reduction reaction we need to multiply with oxidation unit that is 1 and we have written so whatever the oxidation reaction is there oxidation reaction we need to multiply with the reduction unit and oxid reduction reaction we have to multiply with the oxidation unit after multiplication of both the half reactions we need to add them whatever present in the reactant side you write in the reactant side and these in the product side so by adding these reactions we got this reaction now finally we need to balance oxygen present in the reactant side by putting water in the product side so here there are four oxygen atoms in the reactant side to balance we can add four water molecules in the product side and to balance eight hydrogen we can take eight hydrogen ion in the reactant side so this is the balanced redox reaction according to oxidation number we have one more example here fe2 plus plus cr2 o7 2 minus gives rise to fe3 plus and cr3 plus now in the first step we can write the oxidation number of each of the reactant and product above them then here fe2 plus oxidation number is plus 2 cr2 o7 cr2 o7 2 minus its oxidation number we need to find out the oxidation number of cr 2 chromium plus there are 7 oxygen oxygen oxidation number is minus 2 some should be equal to minus 2 its charge so when we calculate we got plus 6 chromium oxidation number fe3 plus plus 3 and cr3 plus plus 3 oxidation state now we can find here iron oxidation number is increasing from plus 2 to plus 3 it is oxidation and chromium oxidation number is decreasing from plus 6 to plus 3 that's why it is reduction now in the next step we need to write separately oxidation reaction and reduction reaction oxidation reaction we have written and the plus 2 and plus 3 unit difference is 1 and reduction reaction we have written and the unit plus 6 and plus 3 difference is 3 units we have written but in the reduction reaction we can find 2 chromium in the reactant side and only 1 chromium in the product side we need to balance this here by taking 2 chromium ion in the product side so in the next step we can find here that in the product side we have written 2 chromium and that whatever the number we are increasing with that we need to multiply the unit also so between plus 6 and plus 3 there is 3 units difference 
to balance chromium we have added 2 in the product side with that 2 we need to multiply the units also so there are 6 units now in the next step oxidation reaction must be multiplied with reduction unit and reduction reaction we should multiply with the oxidation unit so after multiplication we got this reaction we after multiplication with the reduction unit and with oxidation unit then we add both these reactions both these half reactions in the reactant side and product side we have written and finally we can balance oxygen to balance seven oxygen in the product side we can take seven water molecules in the react product side and to balance 14 hydrogen we have taken 14 hydrogen and in the reactant side so this is how we can able to balance the redox reaction by oxidation number thank you